according to the estimates of revenue, grants, and loans for the year ending 30th June this year, which we approved in this House last year. KRA had a target of 2.1 trillion shillings to collect in form of tax revenues. As at the end of February, KRA has only been able to collect 1.2 trillion shillings, which essentially amounts to 57% of the target. And yesterday, yesterday you were being told through some unsigned statement, which ostensibly came from KRA in the name of acting Commissioner General. It was unsigned. I believe it was fake. That statement was saying that KRA has been able to collect 95% of its target or, or attain 95% of its original target. That can't be true because the rev tax revenue target can only be approved by this House. And I can confirm to you that even in the supplementary estimates which we passed here a couple of weeks ago, there was no variation in this target of tax revenue, Madam Speaker. And therefore, KRA has fallen short of its target, Madam Speaker. If, if they are disputing this, let them come out tomorrow and dispute this fact. I can tell you. I'll be happy to face them all, all head on. Madam Speaker, we have heard contradictory statements emanating from KRA. One from the chairman of the board of directors of KRA, one Anthony Maura. He's on record saying that he's trying to drain the swamp in KRA, that there are officers in KRA who are, who, are, who are predisposed to steal public money, and therefore he has to remove them, Madam Speaker. And yet the statement which supposedly came from KRA yesterday was disputing this fact. So who do, we, who do we believe? Do we believe the KRA Board of Directors Chairman, or do we believe the KRA Commissioner General? Madam Speaker, who do we believe? Who do we believe? Madam Speaker, and if we are to believe the Commissioner General, what the hell is the, 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 the chairman of the KRA board, who is supposed to be a ceremonial office holder, doing in issuing out executive orders, Madam Speaker? In any case, in any case, Madam Speaker, in any case, Madam Speaker, there are serious integrity issues surrounding the chairperson of KRA. I, I will table a report now. I will table this, therefore. Madam Speaker, on the 5th of October 2022, the Kenya Revenue Authority wrote to the Director, National Water Harvesting and Storage Authority, regarding agency suspension notice on Todi Civil Engineering Company Limited, business number 154472. Madam Speaker, this letter had the effect of shutting down the account of Todi Civil Engineering Company Limited on account of tax evasion. This letter was written on 5th October and signed off by Mr. Paul Kirui, the debt manager, medium taxpayer's office, Madam Speaker, Corporate Taxpayer Account Management Division, Domestic Taxes Department. The upshot of this is that even as this gentleman was being appointed as the chairman of the board of directors of KRA, he had issues to do with tax evasion concerning his own company, Madam what's Speaker. Your, what's your point of order? I am not aware if this issue was ever resolved. Because order, 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 order.